What's up YouTube? Back again. I regret not making a video yesterday. We sold the Passat. So I'm going to go over what we spent on it, what we did to it, and uh, everything that we had to do to make this amount of money. It sucks I don't have the car here. I'll insert some finishing pictures right here. But as for the car, it sold yesterday. I posted it for 4,600 bucks. It ended up selling to the first guy that came. Uh, we paid 500 for the car. We had $259 into the coils. The timing belt was $223. The clutch was $201. The wheels were $150 auxiliary water pump because I broke that one that was $93 the intake we bought for it to make it dress up the engine bay make it look nicer we put that on there that was 55 bucks we did LED headlights that was 60 bucks uh, cleaning it we bought supplies that was like 20 bucks uh, we took a battery out of the shop that had been sitting charged 100 to the shop um, detailed the car, pulled the seats out, steamed the carpets, basically just a whole once over on that car. We ended up having $1,661 into the car. Now we did do the timing belt, we did do the clutch. Um, those were some major jobs, easy to do in the shop. Um, you know, if I was in the driveway or doing this at home, it probably would have been a little bit harder, but Clutches are super easy, guys. If you can find a car that needs a clutch, especially a front wheel drive, all day, you can make a bunch of money. Um, again, sorry, I don't have the Passat here. The guy came and bought it. He came and looked at it yesterday. Uh, he ended up, he offered $4,000 for the Passat. And uh, we told him, sure, but we're keeping the wheels and tires. So we still got the wheels and tires with almost new Michelins. I mean, these tires are excellent. So we'll keep them around. We'll either sell them and uh, make some more money that way. We've got these here that we are, uh, you know, we're gonna take those back and scrap them. That alone right there is for 400 bucks at least. And I don't know, what do you usually get? 150, 200 bucks for a set of wheels and tires if someone needs them or we have them for something else. 5x112 bolt pattern, you know. In the meantime, I've been busy. This one, still missing third gear. Got these sweet 14 inch wide wheels. Love this tread pattern. This is Mickey Thompson's newest design. Bought those a week later, transmission goes on me. Bummer. Um, I picked up this Snap-on toolbox for 300 bucks. I'm sanding it right now. I just filled a dent. And uh, this thing's sweet. It's apparently it's called a snap-on taco cart, but everything works. It uh, does what it's supposed to do. I am going to bring this home and I'm gonna take all three of my toolboxes and I'm gonna make them in one box because I need more room in my garage. So you got seven or so drawers that way, seven or so drawers this way. Let's, let's pull this thing out. It rolls like a dream while well, I'm on the airline. So it's called the Snap-on Taco Cart because it basically looks like a taco cart. You got drawers that come out this way, drawers that come out this way, and you got doors in the back. Um, I drove, I don't know, two hours I found this. The same exact box in my town is going for $2,700. Granted, it's in beautiful shape. This one was 300 bucks. I just bought another Snap-on box for 25 bucks that matches this. It's a little bit taller. It's gonna go on the end down here. And uh, I'm gonna paint them all up. I don't know what color yet. I was thinking keeping them red just for the nostalgia, but uh, we'll see. It's, it's a sweet box. It's from late 70s, early 80s. It, it's worth a lot more than 300 bucks to me. I'm gonna be able to get all of my tools in it. I did some research, 7,200 square inches of storage in this little box. I gotta show you my new truck. I just picked up a new truck for five grand. These are for the front of it. Let's go take a look. 
picked this up for five grand from my father-in-law. He was trading it in and just bought a new Dodge. Called me up, said, hey, they offered me five grand to, to uh, trade it in if anyone wants it. So I picked it up. It's a 2010 F-150. Um, it's on 315s, a little three or four inch lift. Runs like a dream. So now I'm in a dilemma. Do I sell the white truck and keep this one? Or do I post this one up for 7,500 bucks, make my money and run? I'm trying not to get attached to this thing, but it is what it is. You can see, he said he just had a bunch of work done to the suspension, but she's, they're wearing on the inside pretty bad. The backs are still really good. The truck drives like a dream. I just drove it to Flint, Michigan to go pick up them boxes. It was two and a half hours each way. It did amazing. I do like this truck. Crew cab. I mean, it's, it's definitely a lot cushier than the white truck. Here's my dilemma though. The white truck third gear went out a couple weeks ago. If I sell it, I'm gonna end up losing on it. So I almost have to pull the transmission in this. I also thought about just pulling my brand new wheels and tires, throwing them in storage because I know I'm gonna have another Chevy uh, and posting the truck for 1500 bucks, needing third gear. Still drives around town, still goes first, second, slips through third, right to overdrive. Training shifts good, you know, I've got all the panels purchased already for the cab corners, the rockers. I bought one front fender. So I've been planning on doing the work. I've got the fender, my cab corners, my rockers. I even bought uh, wheel well replacements so that I can, you know, bring this thing back, make it look rust free. It runs like a dream. I've done tons of work to this thing. I love these wheels. I searched for these wheels for six months found them on the other side of Lansing. I had to drive pretty good distance to get them. I picked them up for 350 bucks. They were brand new, never used. And then uh, got these tires for 1100 bucks off eBay. Brand new from some tire shop. Love these tires. Love the 14 inch wide wheels with 12 inch wide tires. Just gives you that beautiful old uh, late 90s, early 2000s look. And I bought the fender replacements for this. Not thinking about the bed being shot. So I figured, yeah, well, you can buy a rust-free bed for 1200 bucks, or you can buy a non-dented, slightly rusted bed for 300 bucks. So I was just gonna go that route, chop in new fenders and be good with it. But all in all, it's been a good week, got a new truck. Still haven't fixed this one. We sold the Passat. We're looking for other cars. We ended up making, you know, we sold it for four grand. We had $1,661 into it. We made some pretty good money, guys. I wanna find another one like that. You don't always find, you know, that sweet of a deal. I'm definitely looking at VWs. I found a GLI uh, Jetta. It's got the 1.8 T in it. I just swapped an engine into my nephew's car this weekend. He's got a Audi A4 stage three ECU. This ended up melting a piston, but the head's good. So we've got the head intake, um, full timing kit. You know, that's all the parts left over. He said, instead of bringing the core back to the junkyard, he just dropped it off here and we'll deal with it. But I'm gonna pull that head, keep it, cause I know the head's good. The Jetta that I am looking at, it's got a new motor, the kid says, but it needs a head gasket. So we buy it. I can buy an engine for 400 and swap it in, or we can do a head gasket on it. It almost costs, after doing the head gasket and everything, all the seals and everything, you know, you're in it for 350 bucks. We might as well just buy a good running motor, slam it in, take that other motor and, uh, throw a gasket in and have one on the shelf. Those 1.8 T's are very coveted. They go for a lot of money and uh, you know, VW's, they hold their value. I never would have guessed we'd sell the Passat for four grand that quick. 
but people are looking for cars. So if you wanna make money flipping cars, check out the channel, go back to some older videos, subscribe to see newer videos. We're gonna buy a car hopefully this week, get busy, make some more money, peace.